In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how you can create a footnote and make your footnote span across one or all columns in Adobe InDesign. So I have my text ready here in InDesign and to create a footnote is just really simple. So make sure your cursor is inside of your text. So double click it if you're not working, if you weren't working there anymore. And when you have double clicked it and your cursor is inside your text, you right click and then you can choose insert footnote. As you can see here, InDesign creates a number to let you see which footnote it is, and then you can type your footnote, and that's that. Now, in the newest version of InDesign, the footnote will span all the columns of a text frame automatically. But in case you're working on an older document creator, created in an earlier version of InDesign, you can do this manually. To do so, you go back to your text here, it might make sure your cursor is inside of your text and then you right click and here you choose text frame options or you press ctrl command b that's the same option and in the text frame options you're going to go to the footnotes tab this one here and here you're going to select enable overrides and span footnotes across columns and then you're going to click ok now this is the option for making a footnote span across a column, but just one footnote. You can also go to type and in type, you're going to choose document footnote options. And here you can make sure that all your footnotes span across columns. So not just one footnote, but all of your footnotes. You go to type and then document footnote options. And here in the layout tab, you will select span footnotes across columns in case it wasn't already selected and then you press OK and then all of your footnotes, footnotes will be spanned across your columns. So again, in the newest version of InDesign, your footnotes are automatically spanned across your columns. But if you're working on older versions, versions it might be that you have to do it manually. Let me know in the comments below if you like this video. Be sure to press the thumbs up button if you did. Press the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. I have new tutorials going live every week. And for now, thank you for watching my video. Stay creative and I hope to see you in the next one.